when taking your grill out of a long hibernation, it is important to make sure everything is safe and ready to go before use. Safety is your first concern. Do a thorough inspection of hoses, connections, igniter, and wires, replacing anything that may be broken. Next, proper cleaning is critical for grill preparation. Start by removing your cooking grids and sear plates and soaking them in hot soapy water to loosen any grease. While soaking, use a spatula or brush scraper to clean any debris from the lid, base, and hood, allowing the debris to fall into the drip tray. Remove and replace the drip tray and clean the drip pan from baked on grease. With everything out of the grill, take a wire brush and briskly scrub the surface of the tube burners. Clean any blocked burner ports with the 1 16th inch drill bit supplied with the grill and pass a Venturi brush through to snag any spiders or debris from inside the burner. In addition to cleaning the burners, cleaning the jet fire ignition system will help ensure proper startup. Use the brush supplied with the grill to clean any debris. With everything clean, your grill is ready to be put back together. Rinse and dry your grids and sear plates and replace them onto the grill. Season your cooking grids by following the instructions on our website. Once the inside of your grill is clean, it is time to make the outside shine. Do not use abrasive cleaners or steel wool on any painted, porcelain, or stainless steel parts of your Napoleon grill. Exterior grill surfaces should be cleaned with warm, soapy water, while the metal is still warm to the touch. To clean stainless steel surfaces, use a stainless steel or non-abrasive cleaner. Always wipe in the direction of the grain. To clean the control panel, only use warm soapy water and a soft cloth. Never apply abrasive cleaners on any stainless steel surfaces, especially the printed portion of the control panel. The control panel text is printed directly on the stainless steel and with proper maintenance will remain dark and legible. Finally, attach your propane tank or open your natural gas line and do a complete leak test following the leak test instructions in your manual. If your grill has an infrared burner, simply turn the heat up to high and run for five to 10 minutes to incinerate any debris. Now that everything has been tested and is in working order, you are ready to cook your first meal of the season. Happy grilling.